All right, I have a set of rules I follow. Uh, most fishermen, or people who fish, period, fish on the weekends. And because of that, I, I do not fish on the weekends. That's my rule. That's why I don't put videos out on Saturdays or Sundays. I just, I don't fish on the weekends because that's when everybody else is out fishing. Uh, but today's Saturday, and of course, I've got nothing else to do, so why not go fishing? And I forgot it was Saturday until I got out here, and in this stretch of the river where I'm at, there are 50 other people fishing out here. I'm not exaggerating. There's at least 50 people and nobody is catching anything. Like I went down to the storm drain where I usually fish and there's there's only really really room for like one person to fish there and there are four people standing around on that storm drain. So uh, yeah, nobody's catching anything. So that's what I'm challenging myself to do is I'm challenging myself to fish in this area where everybody else is and catch something when nobody else can. So that's my challenge for the day. I've only got about an hour before the sun goes down. If I do catch something, I'm probably gonna make all these people mad because everybody here eats everything they catch. So if I catch something, I'm catching release. And people get mad at me when I release the fish. Like I've had people come up and ask me if, I, if they can have it so they can take it home and eat it or give it to their kids. Oh, look at that, I got one already. Little one. Oh, he slipped off. I didn't even know I had him, but, well, there we go. Uh, well, nobody else is catching anything, but had one there. I'm using the swim dinger today. If you use a lot of Sankos or Yum Dingers, but you've never tried a swim Sanko or a swim dinger, I, I suggest you try it, because these things are just absolutely amazing. I catch something on every single one, like that right there, that, should count as a catch, even though I didn't land them. These bass go crazy on these, these swim dingers and swim sankos. All right, I'm stepping down here. Uh, I had to move because had people moving in on me, getting a little bit too close. So I just I left. So I pulled up right behind me and parked, started yelling and playing music and drinking beer. So. There we go. That one feels like a nice one. It's pulling drag. Yeah, that's a decent one. There we go. This is a nice, nice solid bass here. Nice. I know I'd get one there eventually. Oh! Help! Uh. <sighs> Almost got away there. <laughs> That's why I bought lip grippers. Clean them off there. That would have sucked if I'd lost him before I can get weight on him. It's a nice solid fish. My guess is he finned me a little bit there, but my guess is just probably about a pound and a half. 1.72. So I was fairly close on the guess. And with this, uh, my... Uh, my challenge is complete too, so I wanted to catch something when nobody else was out here catching anything. And I did so. Alright, let's go ahead and get the release. That three pounder I caught the other day didn't even pull a drag like that. Seriously though, if you've never used a swim dinger or a swim sanko, they work better than regular ones. It's, it's almost like using a night crawler. Like fish just goes crazy, go crazy for them. It's almost like cheating. The people down from me, the next spot over, are talking about me. Because they, uh, I caught a fish. I was here for just a couple of minutes. Caught one and they haven't. 
I think these guys down from down next to me are actually mad because I caught one. I hear them cussing and stuff and pointing my direction. It's getting worn out, torn up on the end. So I'm gonna do that little trick I talked about in one of my last videos. This is not my primary knife. This is my emergency backup knife because I can't find my main one at the moment, so. There you go. Got another one there. Now he slipped off, damn. But, hey, goes to show you that uh, trick of cutting it off works. Those people just saw me hook into another one, so now they're casting down over here to where I'm standing. I don't really care, but a lot of people would find that rude. Is that another one? Oh man, I missed one. Look, my spoon bait's still there. I can see it. Move over this way. That oh, that's a fish. Come on, come on, stay on, stay on. Not a bad one, not a bad one. First cast in this area. About the same size as the last one. Actually, it might be a little bit bigger. Stop. Not a, not a bad fish. Some, looks a little bit bigger, but I don't think it weighs quite as much. Scale out. One point five eight. He's a little bit longer, but not quite as heavy. All right, got him. Release him, and off he goes.